Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Bensal Biology. In today's video, we are going to learn about the difference between parthenogenesis and parthenocarpy. As, the, as these two words are very similar, then students get very much confused regarding these two terms as there is similar partheno word in both of the terms, just the differences of genesis and the carpy. So these kind of questions are asked in NEET examination as well as in uh, CSIR NET examination and students get confused regarding this. So let's see the difference between these two. So the first difference between parthenogenesis and parthenocarpal is what is partheno? Partheno is virgin. It is virgin. And what is meaning of genesis? Genesis is to give birth or genesis is to produce we can say or what is genesis? It is to develop. These whole words are the meaning of genesis while if we see here the carpal what is the meaning of carpal? It is that fruit. What is the meaning of carpal is fruit. So here the difference in this is that if you see the partheno carpi word then carpi is in resemblance with the carpal. It is in resemblance with the carpal and carpal is what carpal is the female reproductive structure that is produced in the or that is found in the plants. Which plants that are found in the flowering plants. So you can remember by this that carpal, so parthenocarpy is occurring in only plants by the name carpal. And here genesis is only saying that to produce. So it is related to animals as well as it is related to plants. That parthenogenesis occurs in both animals as well as in plants while parthenocarpy occurs only in the plants. By the name carpy you can remember that. Okay, so if we see the definition of parthenogenesis, what is parthenogenesis? It is the development of ova into complete individual uh, without fertilization or what we can say that the development of haploid egg into the embryo. So the second definition is for the plants and the first definition is for animals. Now if we generally consider what is happening is that there is an ovum present which is a haploid ovum. A sperm will come that is also haploid and it will uh, undergo fertilization and a zygote that is two and is formed and it will grow into an embryo and an individual. But what happens in parthenogenesis? This single ovum will develop into the embryo. It will only develop into the embryo. So what will happen? The embryo is also haploid. It will also be haploid, it will not be a diploid organism. So this is parthenogenesis that only the ovum will develop the embryo without any fertilization. This fertilization step will not occur. And same as this definition is saying that a haploid egg develop into an embryo without any fertilization. While if we see what is parthenocarpy, parthenocarpy is the development of fruit without prior fertilization. Here we are focusing on fruit as we know that the ovary gets converted into the fruit after the fertilization. But here there is no fertilization is occurring and the ovary is directly converting into the fruit without any fertilization. So this is the difference that is here in, in parthenocarpy we are considering about the development of fruit and while in this we are, we are considering about the development of an individual without fertilization. Both the processes are occurring without the fertilization. So this is the first step, first difference. Let's see the second difference. If we see the second difference, so about parthenogenesis if we see, it is that the individual that is formed is mostly haploid. We have just seen that it is mostly haploid and cannot undergo sexual reproduction. Just remember that there is mostly is considered in some cases it will undergo sexual reproduction but mostly it cannot undergo any sexual reproduction. While in parthenocarpy is what that fruits performed by parthenocarpy are seedless fruits. These fruits will not contain any kind of seeds as we know that the ovule that is present in the ovary are converted into the seed after the fertilization. This occurs only after the fertilization. But as the fertilization is not occurring so ovule will not be converted into the seed and the fruit will be seedless fruit. And here the individual will be haploid and cannot undergo sexual reproduction. So these are the different. Here you can see an example of honeybee. 
here you can see the example of honey bee so in this what will happen this female ha uh, female bee has formed two eggs and these two eggs has formed the male without any fertilization so these both are n and m and here you can see banana and pineapple both are the uh, what we can say uh, formed of parthenocarpy or both are seedless both are seedless see the next difference then it is as i have discussed it is common in both plant and animal and it occurs only in the flowering plants if we see the examples in which it occurs then it occurs in insects honey bee beetles ants aphids even in turkey even in snakes some of these snakes and it occurs in plants like solanum nigrum and nicotiana these two plants if they are formed by parthenogenesis these two plants are sterile both of these plants are sterile but in the case of parthenocarpy the examples are banana pineapple grapes so these were the difference between the parthenogenesis and the parthenocarpy in simple you can remember that it occurs in both plants and animals while it occurs only in plants it occurs in only plants here the individual is formed by without fertilization individual is formed by without fertilization while in this the fruit is formed by without fertilization fruit is formed by without fertilization so now what kind of questions can be asked is that uh, four examples will be given to you and it can be asked that in this parthenogenesis occur or in this parthenocarpy is occur so this kind of most common questions can be asked and in paper we get confused regarding this as it, in paper it was asked it can be asked that honey bee is an example of parthenogenesis or parthenocarpy so in confusion you can uh, get your question wrong so always remember by carpy okay guys so this was all about the today's video thank you so much for watching the video don't uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel